Fat Mamacita. So in today's video, we are going to Lowe's. We're already here. You can see it in the background. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and check out their little house plant area and big house plant area and see if they got any stock for the week. It is a new week, so we're gonna go ahead and see if there's anything new, anything fun. And I'm gonna go ahead and take y'all along with me. I haven't been to this Lowe's in particular in a long time, so I'm kind of excited because I, I used to always come to this Lowe's, but then I moved, so. But yeah, since I was out and about early this morning because I had another plant errand to run, um, I decided why not. Let's go ahead and stop at Lowe's and make a cool video, hopefully. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and check it out. So let's go. All right, so over here, the music is super duper loud. So we're gonna have to do a voiceover. But yeah, they had some $13.98 Sansevieria plants in the first section. And they even had half gallon um sense of area and then over here they had some parlor palm they're only 12.98 i show it here but they were of course like in a smaller pot but i thought that was interesting they even had these really unique um colored bird of paradise they had quite a few it's probably like a lack of nutrient but it looked pretty cool they also had these ZZ plants here, and both the Bird of Paradise and ZZs were $24.98. And then we're in their smaller houseplant section now. They have some awesome varieties right now, you guys. Like, I don't know, but these beautiful brazils have been popping up a lot in small pots which i think is super cool for 4.98 and then over here these awesome begonias i've been seeing them for a couple weeks but they're really pretty and then of course the pink nerve plant or photonias over here i was just fixing the little string so they could get some water they have some regular azizis here in a six inch pot now we're on to the hanging house plants they had this awesome orchid cactus for 13.98 in a six inch pot it was really full and healthy looking too which is awesome and then they had this awesome aglionema but check it out you guys it was blooming you always have to look really close because you never know you what you might find or could be missing but I thought that was really awesome. Now up here, they had this green peperomia. I don't know exactly what type it is, but I hardly really see peperomias like that in four inch pots. And then here, I'm showing this awesome Brazil hanging basket. It was $13.98 for this baby, which is actually a really good price. And they also had a smaller pot of Twisted Lipstick Plant. It's the first time I've ever seen it in this size, so I thought that was awesome. If you didn't want to spend too much money on it, but you still want a hanging basket, it's always good. There's some Golden Pothos, really beautiful. Over here, we're on the other side now of the fixture, and they have these awesome Maiden Hair Ferns rosy maiden hair ferns they're very gorgeous and bouncy and then up top they had these awesome mandula pothos they are so beautiful and they only had like a couple rows of them but they were so full and very very beautiful like the coloring on all of them were amazing i just could not stop looking at them it was so fun to see that because I know a lot of people are looking for them lately and it was really cool to see a bunch of them. And here they have this really unique looking Begonia Rex. I'm not sure exactly the scientific name. I just go by what the label says, especially for Begonias. It's really hard to label them, especially because there's just so many of them. Now up top, they have some golden pothos, some pink photonias, rainbow moss, and this 
fern here it's a uh, beautiful home decor <laughs> but it's a fern i can tell but it looked so cool it was very unique the leaves are very different but they were awesome and really big i don't know they just reminded me of like big feet or something <laughs> Okay, now moving on down here, more trending tropicals. They had these a beautiful, beautiful golden goddess or lemon lime upright philodendron. This one looked like it had some rooting issues, so that's probably not good. It's probably getting too much water because um, the leaf is transparent. But the other ones looked healthy. Now over here, they had some more begonias. They have this cute polka dot one and this one here. It's so beautiful. I don't know. Somebody said the worth gothic plants for Halloween and it kind of gave me like an idea to buy one of those. All right, now we're moving on to orchids. These are the varieties they have. Of course, beautiful selections as always. And the colorings are always captivating and they're going for $18.48. And here I wanted to share this really, really full and lush Fetonia plant. It is super full, really cute. I think it would look so cute hanging in a corner. And then of course I wanted to share this rainbow moss with y'all. It looks so beautiful. It changes when you move around it, which is really cool. And then here I forgot to share with y'all that they had some bird's nest fern also available. And this Pilea plant, I think it's called a dark mystery. And then also I wanted to go back and share this beautiful leaf on this plant. It reminded me of a monster Peru. I know it's not, but it looks so cool with the veining. And it was just really beautiful, this one in particular. Alrighty guys, so we're done at Lowe's. That was really cool. They had so many cute Mandula pothos available in about 3.5 inch pots. I showed a lot of them in the video. Um, they were so cute. I love the one that I found. I got mine, I think it's a six inch hanging pot. Um, but yeah, it's just so beautiful. Like if you like Mandula pothos, you should go ahead and check out your local Lowe's, see if you guys have them. Um, but they had a, quite a few. So I don't know if they got them recently. It looked a little bit picked over, but um, there were still like quite a few. So yeah, they, that was really cool to see. And then they had a twister lipstick plant and a little hanging basket. Um, what else? They had a lot of cool stuff. I didn't buy anything because I already made a really big purchase. Um, I'll share it with you actually since we're here and talking about plants. Um, it was actually from a local nursery. They got restock. Um, go ahead and share it with y'all since y'all probably show some appreciation for it too but this is the plant i picked up it's so beautiful this is a variegated hindu rope it's in a six inch pot it's huge like i don't know i'll try to get a better look at it but yeah it's so beautiful i'm gonna flip the camera but yeah this is it it's so gorgeous and i'm so excited about it they had like they had probably like 10 and i got like the one that i thought was most variegated there was a line out the door already before opening so but i ended up getting the one i wanted which is exciting there was actually a lot of people there for this plant um but yeah i ended up getting this baby for this kind of plant it's hard to find and this one is like super variegated and like pretty much trailing already these are very slow growing plants so i yeah i'm so excited you hardly ever see hindu ropes like variegated like this and the size so i had to i had to take the opportunity but yeah that is the amazing find i got this morning and why i was up so bright and early and yeah i didn't take y'all along with me because there was a lot of people and i know it's kind of harder to film um when there's so much people and so i just kind of went in and out i literally was in there less than 10 minutes so yeah it was really fun but yeah since we we're here i wanted to see those it was on the way home but anyways that's gonna hit yeah but anyways that's gonna go ahead and conclude today's video i hope you guys enjoyed watching leave down in the comments what plant you would have picked up if you're here shopping with me today and go ahead and give this video a big like for me to show some support to my channel and go ahead and subscribe while you're at it if you're into plenty things because that's what this channel is all about and i'll see y'all in the next one bye